Hello, good day. Uh, look at the classification. A dog is different to a fish, okay? Uh, a tiger is different to a lion, for example. We have different ways of classifying animals and separating them out into their different species. Now, what we use is the Linnaean classification system. So this is something concocted by Carl Linnaeus. Okay, now the mnemonic for remembering the one I'm about to go through for and through with you is kids prefer candy over fresh green salad. Please enjoy the candy in moderation. Okay, so kids prefer candy over fresh green salad. Now I'll explain what this means after. But the Linnaean classification system is where kingdom, phylum, class. Order, family, genus, and species. Okay, now in terms of what kingdom means, essentially, is it plant or is it animal? Okay, or is it fungus or is it any other classification of kingdom? Phylum then starts to differentiate what's going on even further. So if we've got an animal with a backbone, that would be chordata. If we've got segmented worm, that would be an amelid. Okay, there are different phylum groups. Okay, now in terms of the class order, family, genus and species, this is where we start to get into a little bit more information with related to our animals. So, a class, for example, would be mammal. Is it a mammal? Is it a bird? Is it a reptile? For example. Okay, something else to consider would be order. Okay, now this is sorting out your mammals, for example, even further. So, is it a carnivore? Is it a primate? Okay, so order is sorting out even further. After this, we have then got uh, your family. So, for example, is it part of a dog family, which would be canine, or is it part of a cat family, which would be felidae? After that, we then start to specify even further. So, if it's part of a cat family, if it's a big cat. That would be Panthera. If it was a domesticated cat, that would be Felice, for example. Then after that, what species is it? So if it was a lion, it'd be a Leo. Or if it was a tiger, it'd be Tigris. So if we have a look, we use genus and species as part of the binomial naming system. So a tiger would be Panthera Tigris. A lion is Panthera leo. Okay, so let's go through this. A lion is an animal. It has a spine, so it's chordata. It is a mammal in terms of its class. Its order is carnivore. It is part of the Felidae family. It is a big cat, so it's Panthera, and it's a lion, so it's leo. So that is Panthera leo. But the binomial system, if we're writing it out in words, both capital letters, if we're typing it out on a computer, it needs to be in italics. Right, now this has taken years of development. Carl Linnaeus came up with this system, but he couldn't classify everything, okay? Because he didn't have the technology. So he couldn't identify, distinguish between different types of algae, different types of lichens, other different types of animals as well. Okay, so what we've got, okay, the developments, developments over time have been due to microscopes. And microscopes help you to sex an animal. So is it male, is it female, or is it intersex? So does it have both male and female genitalia? So for example, Okay, uh, Nemo, or oh, finding Nemo, is a, a clown fish, is a hermaphroditic fish, so that would be an example of a species that would be intersex. The other thing is that our understanding of DNA and genetics 
So we now know there are four base types, G, C, A, and T. So our information and our technology is developed over time to inform this classification system. Now, Carl Verze, Carl Verze came up with a system of then classifying animals into three types. He said that either archaea, which is your bacteria that live in extreme conditions, okay, and they're very rare. You've got true bacteria, which are your bacteria, and you've got eukaryota, which are your mammals, your plants, your animals, your fungus, etc. Okay, now what we can do using the classification system is we can further then start to have a look at the evolutionary tree and see how we are related to each other. So here, humans are just one step away from chimpanzees in terms of this evolutionary tree. The orangutan, which is Malaysian for man of the forest, is further away from humans because you have to go over different branches on the tree. Okay, anything on this line would be a common ancestor, anything on this line would be a common ancestor for chimpanzees, I've spelled chimpanzees wrong, well, that's embarrassing, I do like a chimpanzee, and this line here, the separation recognises where speciation has occurred, so where they have become different species. Okay, so an example, okay, tree here, you've got a common ancestor, that's on that line, speciation is where the branch splits, and ancestor species is along the branch, okay? And that is classification. Thank you.